Okay, this word problem has both fractions and decimals, or one fraction and decimals. One bottle of olive oil contains 0 0.9 liters, or nine tenths of a liter, and then another contains three fourths of a liter of oil. How much more does the first bottle contain than the second? How much more problem, which is a subtraction problem, just like in first grade, right? So we need to subtract. Subtract 0 0.9 liters minus 3 fourths of a liter. And again, it'll help me if I change this into a decimal. So now I get 0 0.9 liters minus what? 3 fourths. It's like 3 quarters is 75 cents, so this is 0 0.75 liters. And now over here, it will help you if you make this as 90 hundredths, because this is 75 hundredths. And we will get 15 hundredths, which is equal to 150 milliliters. If bottle one, the first bottle costs $10.15, and bottle two costs $8.65, which one is cheaper per liter? We're going to calculate those prices per liter, OK? If you think of price per liter, it means price divided by, because the per is the division, and then divided by the liters, OK? However many liters there are. So that's my basic formula I'm going to use. And for bottle one, it's right here, bottle one. My price per liters will be this, $10.15 divided by its volume, which was 0 0.9 liters. And for bottle 2, I write the same expression. This time its price is 8.65 and its volume is 0 0.75 liters. And now I take the calculator. And I divide using the calculator. OK, actually, I need to round this because it is a long decimal number. 11.2778. And then it would be per liter or per liter like that. The other one. Right, you can see the second bottle is more expensive. The first one is cheaper per liter. Lastly, I have a little bonus problem. Have you ever wondered about these kind of fractions? How do we write those as decimals? If it's not so many tenths, you know, you know if it is two tenths or if it is one fifth or if it is one fourth, you know how to change those into decimal. But how about one seventh or five sixths or two thirteenths? This one, think of it this way first. If this is one whole, this is one. OK? Or it's hundred hundredths or one. And one seventh is this much, you know? One seventh part. So how many hundredths is one seventh? If I wanted to write this as a decimal as so many hundredths, then I could take hundred divided by seven. With general fractions, that is what we do. We divide. We think of the fraction problem as a division problem. And since I don't want to just know how many hundredths, I'm going to divide just one by seven. Show you how it works. One goes here and seven on the outside. Now, if you think of this, maybe you want to guess how many hundredths approximately. Do you think it's going to be like 15 hundredths maybe? 16? 11? Make a guess. How many hundredths is one seventh? And then over here, Instead of writing 1, I write 1.0000. 1 so I can do my division here with the decimal number. And then I divide normally. 7 goes into 1, 0 times, so I look at 7 going into 10 here, just once. 1 times 7, and then I get 30. 7 goes into 34 times, and then we get 28, subtract, and 20. 7 goes into 20 two times, get 14. OK, I'm going to run out of space, but there would be 8 next. Then it continues. So now you can see it is about 14 hundredths as a decimal. 
and I can round it to the thousandths here. It is about 0 0.143, 143 thousandths. So in general, any fraction you have, you can use long division or calculator to change it into a decimal. We're all done with this lesson.